What's going on, guys? Hope you're all having a good day. So today we're gonna to be trading a few hats for another pair of Jordans. So the hats that we're gonna be trading are actually back here on my wall. The first hat is right here. We have this Seattle Supersonic hat. It's a snapback and uh, has a yeah, it has the Supersonics in the, on the inside of the bill. It's a pretty nice hat. It has the Mitchell and Ness, you know. It has a little NBA logo as well. So yeah, this is the first hat. And coming out with the second hat, we have right here. It's just a regular Bulls hat. Nothing under it, really. It's also a snapback. And, uh... Same same Tim type of deal, Mitchell and Ness, and then we have the NBA logo as well, and so yeah, this is just another uh, just another snapback hat, and for our final hat we have right here. So I get my fish. We have right here, we have a, a Lakers, same same type of deal, same hat, and then uh, yeah, so we have. Laker, Laker snapback. We're going to be trading the three of these hats for uh, a pair of Jordans. So yeah, we'll be back with that. What's going on guys? So we're back and we got the, the Jordans. And these are uh, Jordan 5s right here. And they're they're worn, but these are these are original. A little Nike Air sign on, on the back. These are from 1991. And these these Jordan fives, uh, they're just a little bit, a little bit scuffed up, and uh, we got right here we got scuff right here a little bit, and then we have some on the back right here, as long with uh, just a little bit on this front part up here, and then obviously they're worn. These are pretty old shoes, but they're uh, still in pretty good shape. And then uh, these ones have a little bit right here, just a little bit on the toe, like. It's not, honestly, it's not terrible, but um, the guy said that these were unwearable. And the reason why he said that was because the glue is uh, starting to dry out and it's possible that the sole might rip out from the bottom of the shoes. So, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rock them a little bit and then uh, just try to get rid of them whenever I do. And so, yeah, uh, I think it's a good trade personally. I mean, it's three hats. I don't even wear them. And, Honestly, I like I like the Jordans. So you guys, let me know what you think. Uh, do you think this is a good trade, or is it just me? But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll be back with another trade pretty shortly. What's going on, guys? So today we're actually gonna be selling a video game, and that game is uh, down here. We have uh, we we sports and. This just comes with the the disc and a little a little menu and uh yeah it's it's used but we're gonna be selling this for 15 bucks and uh, i'll be back with the cash and we'll just keep going with another trade after that so i'll see you guys then peace <laughs> sale and we got uh, right here quick little fifteen dollars you see bam we made fifteen bucks it was a pretty quick sale honestly not not too not too big a deal but you know every little bit counts you have a lot more stuff than you think you do and if you can sell any of it especially things that you don't use unused stuff 
you can make a good amount of money. A lot of people have a lot of extra things, even if you don't think that you do. You probably do. So I'm not sure if anyone else is trying to sell stuff, you know, declutter their house, their room, whatever. Um, maybe they're moving, but honestly, it's not a bad idea to try to downsize. Like, obviously, I have all this stuff. Like, this is an insane amount of stuff. I mean, I'm getting a lot more organized with it, but it still just shows that I have a lot of stuff in, you know. Slowly but surely, I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm trying to trade stuff, and, you know, I could go and try to sell everything for a dollar or two, but I want to get a good trade for for my... I want to get a good bargain, I would say, for, for my stuff. So rather than selling everything super dirt cheap and as fast as possible, I want to sell it at a decent price and get, you know, a fair exchange rather than getting ripped off. And that's why I never really liked selling video games at uh what store was that um at GameStop games they would always uh they would always rip you off and I'm just like man like there's no way or if you sell your clothes at any like outlet store that will exchange it for money you go and sell like, clothes that you thought were nice that you just you know outgrew and they're like oh yeah what is that you got some Jordans I'll give you five bucks I'll give you ten bucks for them and you're like man I could sell these joints for way more, but it would take longer. But at the same time, you're not doing anything. Why not take the take a little bit longer time to sell some stuff to make more more profit? Because, you know, I mean, unless you're in dire need of that cash today and you need it, you know, life or death, then you got to do what you got to do. But if you have time, that's the most valuable asset that a lot of people have. And, you know, not everybody has that. So when you do have that luxury, I think you should take as much advantage of it as you possibly can. And, you know, that's what I'm doing personally. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing, keep putting out videos, keep making more. And we're just going to get back into it with another exchange after this. So, yeah. Um, see you guys with the next one. Peace. What's going on, guys? So we're about to go make another sale really fast. We're going to be selling a hat, which I have on my back wall. I'm just going to grab real quick. We got right here, uh, Florida, Maryland's uh, snapback hat. Actually still has like the tag on it and everything. And uh, this one as well. Uh, this hat says, bought it for 30 bucks, selling it for only 15. So. I mean, we lost money on it, but I've also had this hat for probably, man, probably at least a good six years. I mean, it's still in pretty good condition, but this is not by any means a new hat. However, just because I took good care of them, I can still sell it for a decent price, you know, and for, you know, six, six years, 15 bucks, that's a, what is that? It's like three bucks a year or something like that just just a little under three dollars a year you know if i had it for five years that's three bucks a year but yeah so we're just going to be making a quick salary fast and that'll be this uh this florida hat so yeah um see you guys really soon peace what's going on guys so we made the trade and we have uh we have the 15 dollars right here and basically this wasn't uh anything out of the ordinary you know i went to go meet up with the guy he inspects the hat really fast and then you know just hands me the cash and i just was on my way but the thing about this uh this took about three months to make this trade happen basically the the guy he messaged me and he was like yo i'll buy your hat and i was like okay cool um can you meet me tomorrow and he goes no i need it tonight i'll give you 20 dollars." i told him i'm not home right now um i can't do it tonight I can meet with you tomorrow. He's like, I'll give you $25. I was like, man, I, I'm just not in a, in a place to where I can uh, leave. So basically I had to decline and message them the next day. I said, if you're still trying to buy the hat, you know, you can. And he didn't reply. And I just messaged him. Are you still interested? Hello? Still interested in the hat? Usually I just message people until they tell me to stop. Otherwise, you know, why quit knocking at a door when you know there's still opportunity there but uh basically three months later which is today he hits me up he goes yo are you still selling the hat i'm like yeah he's like all right i'll i'll come by it so i went up to him 
met with him and he was like, $15, right? I was like, yeah. So we just went from there and now I have my 15 bucks. So I'm happy, he's happy, he has the hat. I'm happy to get rid of the hat. So yeah, it's a, it's a win-win in, in my in my eyes. Uh, obviously I lost money on the hat, but I had the hat for so long that I feel like getting any kind of money back from the hat is honestly, it's a bonus in my book. You know, even though the rate of inflation and you know the price of the dollar back then versus now is obviously different, I still made money off of it today. And this is $15 I have now that I wouldn't have had otherwise. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys with another trade. Peace.